Happiness. Can one be happy without being aware of it? No. Happiness is a conscious and recognizable state of mind. Its taste is so intense that even ecstasy cannot be compared to it. We can only feel happiness after we have rightly guided someone to live well with joy. The moment we are flooded with happiness, all suffering, all unresolved entanglements, and all forms of attachment that originated from the dissatisfaction in life would melt away. Are there different levels of happiness? The highest level we can reach before leaving this earth is 70%. After universally benefiting others with all our might, the remaining 30% is a type of future reserve, attainable only after we go into the universe as souls. If in our final reincarnation we reach a level of happiness less than 70%, we would still have more work to do in the universe to increase our level. It is important to know this now, while in the body. Currently, 30% of the global population is on their final journey. They are the baby boomers. Those born after World War II came here to have their last experience on Earth. They are the first Hongikengans, those whom nature has prepared the supreme task of bringing good to their neighbor, to society, and to the entire global village. They must use everything at their disposal and give their all down to the very last crumb, to the very earth that nourished them. All they have accumulated on earth, all their talents and knowledge of the truth must be shared. This is how they can rise from the planet peacefully, freely and lighter than air itself. What is the meaning of separating the wheat from the chaff? That is, separating the good from the bad. The prophets in ancient times received similar messages, but at that time they couldn't interpret this fully. Now is the time for us to be liberated, separating the wheat from the chaff, which takes place during our last reincarnation. We will completely devote ourselves to humanity and leave this earth. It is only the soul that can ascend to the heavens, as the material body must remain here on earth, thus maintaining balance. The mass of the earth should not vary more than 3%. Devastating consequences would occur even if 0.1% of material is removed from the earth's orbit. Who are we really? We are the soul, spiritual energy, made up of non-material energy particles. It is the soul that ascends to heaven, to other parts of the universe to the galaxies, where we continue to help those remaining on Earth to free themselves from their entanglements. This work enables us to raise our level, gradually approaching to whence we came. Therefore, it is essential to have tasted at least a little happiness here on Earth before we move into the depths of the universe.